What is up, Karatex? Welcome back to the series where I customize and review past DLC and OG vehicles. Never got the chance to because I didn't start making car customization videos till about late 2015. As always, guys, let me know in the comments what car from late 2015 and older you want to see me customize next, and I'll display the most liked vehicle suggestion comment in the next customization video. So, in today's video, we're going to be customizing the Bravado Rat Loader. So this truck is an OG vehicle that's been in the game since day one. It can be purchased from a Seven San Andreas website for only $6,000, or of course you can get it off the street for free. And for those of you who don't know, this is basically the rusty version of the rat truck that actually offers a little more customization. Now the rat truck did come afterwards in a DLC, the rat loader was an OG vehicle. But anyways, in terms of performance, the Rat Loader is in the muscle car class and is actually one of the worst performing vehicles in that class in terms of track performance, right around the pace of the Rat Truck and the regular Slam Van. So it's like sort of all the old muscle trucks, they're just really slow in that class, obviously excluding the Yosemite, which is a completely different animal. Um, and the main reason for this is because of the poor handling, that's to be expected, but mainly the extremely poor brakes that they have on these trucks. They're basically non-existent, even when fully upgraded. It's a real shame that the brakes are so bad on these trucks. But anyways, in terms of what the rat loader is based on, it's primarily based on a mix of different pickup trucks from the 1940s, mainly the 1946 Dodge Power Wagon, and the 1940s International Harvester D2 as well. But anyways, let's go ahead and check out the customization of the Rat Loader. What are we doing today? All right, Rat Loader. Anything okay, we got do? armor, brakes. Anything that's probably gonna do nothing because brake upgrade on most of these old trucks, like the Slam Bat and stuff, they don't they don't really help. But <laughs> hopefully, it helps something. Um, engine, engine base. You have a chromed V8. Okay. Not bad, so we get rid of the rusty engine model, we get a nice clean chrome one under there, let's do that. Exhaust. Um, let me remove the hood so we can see this a little better, and then we'll get back to that. So engine bay here, you can see the difference. Oh man, yeah, was a <laughs> big difference there. Even an upgraded radiator too. Yeah, definitely, okay. Um, exhaust. So, okay, you got them sticking out there, and... Got it like that, then like that. And it's like a rusted exhaust too, kind of cool. And then the side exit, hmm, tough choice. Um, I do want to keep the fenders though. I kind of like the fenders, um, or we might change them. I'm not sure, but hmm, which one? I mean, the straight exit's pretty cool. I do like the side though, the bodywork on the side. And I guess you can only retain that with the short exhaust. I guess. We'll get back to that. Let's do fenders, remove, and then you have the cycle. I kind of like the cycle, but then what happens is it exposes <laughs> all the uh, really poor texture quality and then the rusted stuff on top of that on the firewall and all the other components of a chassis. It just doesn't look good. So I kind of want to cover that up. So I am going to stick with the stock fenders, but um, so now we just, we just have to decide what exhaust we want to go with. So none of the last ones, um, so I guess the short exhaust, I guess so, what is stock anyways? Where does the exhaust go on this thing? I don't even know. Is there smoke anywhere? No. I don't see, I don't see the exhaust coming anywhere out of this thing. It's like, where do the headers go? Nowhere? I don't, <laughs> oh wait a minute, it's under the truck I think, let me see. Oh yeah, there it is. Okay, it's there, right underneath the, uh, d the driver's side door. Does that have it on the passenger side? No, just there. Okay. Interesting. Alright, we'll do a short exit. Well, a short exhaust, I mean. Okay. Fenders, we already went through that. Grill. So you have a fixed stock grill. Okay. Bar removal. Vintage grill. And then the grill cowl removed. Wow. So you can remove all of this. That's kind of... That's kind of... <laughs> remove all the bodywork up front. That will look really weird. Uh, okay. So I think... Hmm, the vintage grill is pretty cool. Bubbles? I guess I guess we can do that. I do kind of like this one better though. I don't know. I think it looks a bit. This one's kind of weird. Uh, you know what? I'll do this one. Hood. So we, let's go. This is the stock hood here, which is the you know kind of like broken hood. 
and then you have removed, then you have repaired stock, and then you have the single scoop with a hood, single scoop without hood. Okay. Well, I guess with this um, exhaust option, we kind of have to we kind of have to go with the no no hood. So I guess we can sort of pick one of the blowers. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I, mean, I don't even know. We're, we're definitely going like a rat rod route with this. I do like the scoop without the hood. That looks pretty cool. You know what? We'll do that. Why not? Okay. Lights. We'll upgrade it to Xenons because at this point, this is like a full on resto mod build. Um, respray. So, of course, you can do a matte color if you want to retain that kind of like faded paint look. Um, or, of course, you can go with like a glossy color, fully up to you, or even chrome with rust, which looks really weird. Um, or metals, of course, if you want like a different texture to it. Uh, the brushed aluminum looks pretty cool as well. Uh, but um, I'm gonna go with a nice metallic color. I think we'll go like a nice um, red, like a reddish orange or something. Maybe like a, it's like a lava red. Yeah, we'll do lava red. Okay, and then pearlescent for some reason doesn't work with this. I guess it's because of the rusty texture that it has, so it doesn't let you apply that. Um, but you do have the chameleon colors, so for those of you who like those on next gen, you can pick one of these. Um, Kremlin goes on the door, both sides. And it's off center too, I think, right? Yeah, a little, oh, that's because of a door handle, makes sense, okay. Uh, suspension, you can lower it low, low, and super low. You can, <laughs> you can really slam this thing, that's pretty cool. Um, should we slam it? I don't know. It looks kind of cool slammed. We'll do it, why not? Transmission truck bed so this is the upgrade uh, section that the rat truck the clean version does not have um, so you have of course you have a stock truck bed with all the spare tires and bunch of trash on the back uh, then you have the basic truck bed um, now the one that the rat truck comes with stock that you cannot change is the chopped truck bed that's the one that it comes with so everything else in between here are uh, different um, truck beds that you cannot get on the rat truck. So the basic truck bed is, of course, a long, normal truck bed. Then you have the arches, which you can't get on the uh, rat truck. Then you have the wooden sides on top of the uh, basic truck bed. And then, of course, you have the chopped truck bed from the rat truck. So I, I would have liked for them to have given us the basic truck bed with arches. Um, what? on the uh, chopped truck bed. So I would have liked a chopped truck bed with arches. <laughs> I would have really liked that. But unfortunately, the only way you can get the arches is with the uh, basic truck bed. So I guess we'll just do that there. Would have been nice to have a chopped one, though. And for those of you who don't know, a really common on this truck, a lot of people do this. So the same way you can do the remove spoiler glitch, you can do something similar with the rat loader, um, which allows you to remove the entire bed. So all you do is you buy any one of the truck uh, beds, it doesn't really matter which one, um, and then you just kind of go back and forth between the top and the bottom option really fast, and you can see, you can see it just disappear there, let me just get the right, uh, I got it, there you go. So you go really fast and then you stop on the stock one, and then to save it, all you do is just buy the stock truck bed, and boom, you have no bed back here. Which is really funny. It's kind of kind of weird. A lot of people do this, and I think it kind of clips through walls and stuff, um, which is really funny. So yeah, if you want to do something kind of weird there, even though a lot of people in game already know about it, so it's not anything like super hidden or. I think it's pretty common knowledge in GTA at this point. But yeah, I think should we drive without it? I mean, oh well, yeah, no should we drive without it? I don't know. It'd be kind of. We'll drive without it. You know what? Fine. We'll, we'll drive without it. Just, just for some fun. Um, wheel type. Even though I like the arches better, but just so you guys can see how it kind of works and stuff. So for wheels, I'm definitely thinking the Cup Champions, um, and then we'll paint them black to give it that kind of like drag racing weld wheel look. So boom, looks really good there. And of course, this thing comes with red brake calipers, which is nice. A little pop there. Um, now the only thing I prefer on the rat truck is the fact that it has wider rear tires. It looks really girthy and aggressive. Um, the rat loader, no matter what option you choose, it always has these skinny little tires. I'm just not a fan. Um, oh, and to touch on the stock tires here before I forget. So the stock tires on this thing, it has like these faded off-road tires. Really unique looking. I mean, it's cool if you want to keep that kind of look, but I definitely want the resto mod route. So 
doing that there. Um, let's see what else we got. Windows, black them out, why not? And that's all the options there. So, all right, let's take it for a drive, exit to ground. It looks pretty cool without the bed. It looks like an unfinished project. <laughs> I like the one with the arches, personally, but... Alright, let's give it some revs. This is floored. It's like, world's longest rev buildup. Now it's maxed out. Look how long that took. Sounds like it's on a dyno or something. <laughs> still going, still going, still going. And now, that's funny. First person... Did we see that on the... In the engage in first person. Oh okay, yeah, you can. Look at it building up there. <laughs> of course, you have the destroyed interior, common with you know rusted cars and stuff like you see with the tornado and voodoo and stuff like that. Um, all right, let's uh, floor it. Some wheel spin. A lot of wheel spin. Oh my god, this thing just handles so bad. <laughs> We get a closer camera view. There we go. It's so weird seeing no bed back here. See the diff axle moving around there. So weird. The brakes, brakes, brake. You're holding the brake. I'm the entire time I'm holding the brakes. Look how long I took to stop. It's like forever, forever to stop. Brakes, turn, please turn. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. Literally, you can try driving this thing in the rain really fast, you're gonna crash on every corner. <laughs> it's, it's awful to drive. Really bad. You gotta brake like super far in advance. Basically, you have to pretend like you're driving on snow. I think that's the best way that I can give a comparison as to the way to drive. It basically drives like it's driving on snow. <laughs> the brakes and the handling is just very, very weird. But it, once it gets up and goes, I mean, it's it goes pretty quick in a straight line. I, I wouldn't say it's slow. It actually moves pretty good. The problem comes with the brakes and the handling. It just takes forever. Now, I believe this one can do the same glitch as the rat truck, where you do a burnout, let it roll forward, and reapply the brakes, and then it can... Then it can do that wheel thing. Yeah, there it goes. It's kind of doing it there. Yeah, there it goes. Yeah, of course, if you do it at the airport, once it gets going, it goes really fast. I think it, like, it does, I know on the rat truck, it does like 200 miles an hour when you do that glitch. I have a video that I made on that. I'll probably link that in the description, but, um, it works a lot better on the rat truck. On the rat loader, it's a bit trickier to do. I don't think it's as fast, so definitely, if you want to do that glitch, you're better off with the, uh, rat truck. Um, but yeah, oh, I forgot to, oh, I had my mini-map turned off. I was wondering what was going on here. My mini-map <laughs> mini is turned off. I'll turn that back on later. But yeah, really, really cool truck. I like it. Um, I prefer the rat truck, even though it doesn't have the extra bed options. But of course, if you want to do the, uh, that glitch to remove the bed like I did here, you're going to need the, uh, rat loader version, so. Yeah, all right, let's hop out here. Um... What, what am I gonna open? I don't think there's much to open other than the doors. <laughs> doors? All? Oh. Yeah, that's it. Because we'd have no hood. Uh, we have no bed, obviously. So all we have is the interior. Yeah, even, even the pedals are rusted out. Look at that. That's awful. The floor mats say vapid, even though this is a bravado. Rockstar does that a lot. I don't know why. It's like the main base vehicle they use for these. Maybe this is from... I don't even know. I know they use the same interior in the Bravado um, Dune Loader as well, I believe, so... I wonder if that one has the Vapid floor mats too. It's a big mistake there on Rockstar's part. And you can see this bed, you can like walk right through it. It's like really glitchy. As a matter of fact, I think it goes through walls, I can't remember. Let me see here. No. Hmm. Weird. Maybe I think it goes through like other cars. I, I can't. I can't remember. I know you can put two Bravado rat loaders together and like they go through each other. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't go through walls. I, I doubt it goes through cars either. Oh yeah, it does go through cars. Look at that. 
That's what it was. It goes through cars. <laughs> What's up, buddy? How you doing? I'm just gonna tow you around, you know? <laughs> the Range Rover. <laughs> so bad. Oh my gosh. The new Range Rover pickup truck thing. Okay. Well, that's funny. I guess. I guess that's kind of cool. You can troll people with it. Not bad. Th this is definitely a troll vehicle for sure. If you do that. That bed glitch. I guess it's kind of worth owning both of them then. This one with their bed removed, and also the rat truck for the speed glitch and the fact that it looks better, it's faster, and has a wider rear tires. But, anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Remember to let me know down below in the comments what car from late 2015 out older you want to see me customize next. Thanks for watching, guys. This Corvette guy is just, he wants, he's determined to park there. <laughs> Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.